This is the real reason why you're struggling to generate leads for your business. And it has nothing to do with your strategy right now. This is a conversation that we had in our virtual dinner party. I absolutely recommend you check it out. There's a link in the description where we uncovered the real reasons why entrepreneurs struggle with generating leads. I highly recommend you watch this video until the end if you're serious about fixing lead generation in your business. Well then now, let's uh, let's go into making lead generation your bitch, okay? So, Here's the thing. <clears throat> Here's what most people don't understand, especially coaches when we start out, right? Because when we start out, what we're thinking about is legion and sales, legion sales, legion sales, legion sales, right? It's like this constant uh, music in our heads. But the problem is this. Strategy is the car and mindset is the fuel for the car. So what most of us do, including myself, we buy the car and we're like, oh my God, we have this beautiful car. I can't wait to drive it. This is so amazing, right? But then we buy close to no fuel and the car just sits there in the garage and we're like, why is it not working? Well, because the mindset isn't where it needs to be. The mindset doesn't match the strategy. This is making sense, guys. Yes? Beautiful. That being said, you're not going to, like I said, you're not going to hear anything new. All of you, 100%, all of you have tried at least one of these lead generation methods. And then you let it go and then you tried something else. But something you also already know is this. All great lead generation methods come from knowing your avatar deeply, your ideal client, knowing their fears, their desires, and their dreams. And something else, another reason why it doesn't work, it doesn't work, is this. I'm just going to say it because it takes too long to type it. Most, uh, most, of, most coaches think in terms of the vehicle and not in terms of the destination when they um, talk in terms of their marketing, right? Maybe Meg can talk a bit more about that or Mihai. We're so focused on the um, on the vehicle. Like if I said, I'm going to do mindset coaching with you, right? It's going to be amazing. We're going to meet up every week. We're going to talk about your limiting beliefs. We're going to dive into your subconscious and it's going to be great. Who's going to buy that? Would any of you pay me $5 for that? No, right? But if I say, look, shut up, sit down. We're going to build you a six or seven figure business. Are you paying attention now? Why? Because I'm talking about the destination. When, whenever you travel, you're not like, oh my God, I hope the seat in the airplane is going to be red because red is my favorite color and I love the color red. You don't give a fuck about what seat you're going to sit in in the airplane. All you care about is getting to that beautiful beach or to those beautiful mountains or the mountain peak. Right? You're climbing up this tremendously difficult mountain because all you're thinking about when I get to that peak, it's going to feel so good. I'm going to ask my boyfriend or my girlfriend to take a, uh, a photo of me and then I can post it on Instagram. I hope I have a uh, service on the peak of the mountain because I just can't wait to post it, right? That's all you're thinking. You don't care about the journey. And that's why your lead generation isn't working. You're talking, you're fixated on the vehicle, on your coaching, and you're not fixating on the destination. People don't understand what soul coaching, mindset coaching, lead generation coaching, sales coaching. They don't understand what that is. All they care about is how their life is going to be better thanks to you. Okay. Now, how do you generate leads? Direct messaging, call messaging, right? This is the strategy. Inviting people to your Facebook group and having them answer your admission questions. Like, for example, what is your desired out outcome? What is your income right now? What if, uh, would you like to book a call with me? Would you like a lead magnet in exchange for your email? Blah, 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 right? Free seven-day challenge that promises a desired outcome. Free live event that pr promises a desired outcome. Two-step post, 
blah, 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 marketing campaign, reaching out to people who engage with your content and saying, hey, thank you so much for the like, thank you so much for the comment, tell me more about your situation, blah, blah, blah. Reaching out uh, or being a superhero in a community of your avatar, right? Giving in that community, giving, 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 and people reach out to you or you just create opportunities. We make content, YouTube videos, reels, posts, shorts, blah, blah, blah. Now, why is this not working? And this is me. This is me for the, th the first three years of my uh, coaching career. Oh, I'm going to start this. And I know that this needs to work in a week or two. Then it doesn't work in a week or two. Then I do this, right? And this doesn't work in a week or two. And then I do this. And this doesn't work in a week or two. And so on and so forth and so on and so forth. And just running around in circles continuously. And then and nothing happens. Nothing happens. All of these things work. All of them. All of them are, if you do one of them, only one, <clears throat> for the next six months or a year, one of them, right? <clears throat> and by the way, this two-step post needs to be supported by the content. Yeah, just a, a small distinction. Now, if you focus on one of them for the next six to 12 months, you're going to have at least a six or seven-figure business on your hands. I absolutely guarantee you. No doubt in my mind, one of them. And that's the lesson that I needed to learn as well because all my friends who were more successful than me, guess what they did? They hired a coach, number one. And the coach said, shut the fuck up. Do this for the next six months and you'll make money, right? They paid, they paid attention, they listened, they implemented, they made money. That was my problem. I was oscillating between all of these. And I said, you know what? Let me stop being stupid. Let me do what my friends are doing, right? So now the beauty of that, see you, Meg. Thanks for joining in. Um, the beauty of having multiple options is this. Choose one that is the most authentic and that you love doing the most. This right now, the VDP is a lead generation method for me, right? Big surprise. Wow. Who knew, right? So the, the difference is that I fucking hated this, even though I did it for three years. Cold outreach. But this, doing live events, right? I absolutely love. So choose one, try them. You've already tried multiple ones, right? Choose one that you actually enjoy doing and do it for the next six to 12 months. Now, that being said, here's another reason why you're not doing it. The fuel is missing, right? The mindset, why are you not using them? Why are, why are they not working for you? If they work, why are they not working for you? This is a simple reason why. You haven't solved your self-worth issues. You don't understand the value that you're bringing in the world. Secretly, you're, you're thinking, who's going to be stupid enough to pay me 3K, 5K, 10K for this? Or even sometimes $200. That was me when I started my martial arts uh, school. Who's going to be stupid enough to pay me for this? I wouldn't admit it to anyone, but that's, what I, that's how I felt. Right? Same with coaching. Who's going to be dumb enough to pay me for this? It's a lack of confidence. You get demotivated when it doesn't work in two weeks and you stop doing it or worse, you start doing something else, right? Which is what? Yes. Imposter syndrome, perfectionism. Also, very important, lack of closing skills because guess what? Here's a secret. Here's a surprise. When your closing skills get better, when your sales skills get better, your lead generation gets better, your marketing gets better, everything, 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 everything gets better. Why? Because you cannot sell if you're thinking in terms of the vehicle. You can only sell when you're speaking in terms of the outcome, the transformation, who you're going to become, how your life and business will change. That's the only way you're going to sell. And when you start thinking that way, your lead generation is going to be drastically better. And you're afraid to put yourself out there, your real self out there. 
right? I was so scared to call myself a warrior shaman. I said, well, I have no shaman training. And my aunt said, did you take any courses for writing your book? I said, no. So is the book any good? I said, yeah, I changed a few lives. So what do you want? Right? Sure, putting my, my true self out there. And all of this can be summed up in this. You don't think you're good enough. This was a coping mechanism that you used when you were a kid to survive. You made yourself small. It's okay. You had to make yourself small. But you're not a kid anymore. You're a fucking powerhouse of love, of transformation, of inspiration, of purpose. You're changing the world one person at a time. What makes you good enough is not your achievements. It's not how many people give you likes on Instagram. It's not how many people rave about your content. What makes you good enough is your passion for your work, your love for other people, your desire to grow and make mistakes, and your courage to do stuff that you've never done before, to get uncomfortable. To find balance in the shitstorm. And all of you have done that. That's what makes you good enough. We've all done that to different extents in, in our lives. That makes you good enough. And that means that you deserve what you say you want. Right? Because if I know what I need to do to make the money that I, that I want to make, right? I know all of this stuff. I know how it works. I know how to do it. If I don't, it's like, it's very easy to learn these skills, the strategies, right? But let's say I do know how to do it. And then I don't do it. It's only because I secretly don't believe I deserve it. And I'm using this, I'm using this, I'm using this, I'm using this to keep myself where I am and stay safe. But your safe zone is the world. Not just your living room, not just your office, the whole world. Is this making sense, guys? Who feels that this is true? Type in true in the chat room. If you feel like we're speaking the truth here, if you feel like this is your truth, yeah, beautiful. So commit right now to believe that you do deserve it because you've worked your ass off so far and you're going to work your ass off from now on moving forward. There's no doubt in my mind. But you have to sell yourself on deserving it. Knowing that it is yours for the taking, that it's been there. It's, it's being prepared for you to get it. Beautiful. I appreciate you, Elise, for committing. Yes? That being said, you got this. Congratulations, you've made it so far. Let me know what was your biggest insight in the comments and the best comment gets a guest spot in the virtual dinner party. And absolutely check out the link below to learn more about the virtual dinner party and how you can join us so you can take your business to six or seven figures. It's absolutely free and packed with value. And also check out this video to learn the three mindsets you absolutely need in order to sell successfully.